How do folks? This is the old mountain man talking at you from the back side of this air lake in the hills of Arkansas. Well, I just got off the phone with Mr. Jeff Turlington, one of my subscribers. And what did Mr. Jeff send to me? He sent me a gift. And it's something I never thought, another knife I never thought I'd own. Certainly one I could not afford. Uh, it's a Spyderco. I'd heard about Spyderco knives. I'd seen them on YouTube. Oh, he also makes these paracord bracelets. And he said they about, I don't know, I think he said 50 feet of paracord in this thing. That is tight. That is just that's going to be something I'm definitely going to be using one of these days. Oh, and there's some ammo I bought today. Uh, but we got a got a letter here from Jeff. And he says, Dear Mountain Man 1478, I've been a knife collector since the 80s. I would like to give you one of my favorite top-of-the-line knives. It's a Spyderco military tactical knife equipped with a S30V stone wash blade, G10 scales, and a heavy duty uh, pocket clip. This knife is proudly made in the USA in Golden, Colorado. This knife is not a pretty shelf knife, it's meant to be used daily. But it's not a cheap knife either. I only buy the best. The S30V Steel, in my opinion, is one of the sharpest, longest-lasting blades out there. There, there are people out there that call it super steel. Uh, the average retail is around two hundred dollars. What a bargain of a knife for the buck! I like, I love mine. I hope it serves you well. Hope it serves you well, brother. And uh let's see here heck if you like it maybe you can do a video on it and i did <laughs> i also make stuff out of paracord i'm sending you some of that too thank you again for all your videos it makes my day at times to kick back and watch your friend jeff and p.s as soon as i can uh, get a number of how many fire steels we need for our bug out bags I'll be placing an order with you thanks again well I uh, sure appreciate that I did offer to send him some fire steels let's take a look at this knife though uh, Jeff was kind enough just to say I don't want to be taking food off your table so oh boy look at there Camouflage, get that light off of that freaking. We taking a look. Boy, look at that blade. I got a about a four inch palm going there. You got about a four inch cutting edge on that booger. Look at there, Spyderco CPM S three zero V. Golden Colorado USA Earth. Yeah? Uh-huh. Whoa, that's, uh, that right there. I like that. And that booger is sharp right out of the package. I don't know if there'll be any need to touch that blade up or not. That edge there. And I've seen spider cone knives before, and I thought, well, I don't know what's may not be able to afford anything that nice and i just kind of sit back and bit my lip and, you know but average retail was 200 bucks i would never really spend that much on myself for a knife you know it was like the case trapper that brian rose sent me that right there was a that was an outstanding gift as well i'm always very appreciative uh of you know these things that people send me and sometimes I can't always make a video or sometimes I don't um, I get so busy in my head but I was on the phone with Jeff 
and I told him that I would, and I'm here, and there you have it. Uh, Jeff, buddy, I really appreciate it. I enjoyed talking with you on the phone, and give me a call. Uh, I'll give you a call. Hell, we stay in touch, and I'll be working on some fire steels for you. Uh, send you that price list. Uh, I really wanted to send them to you on the house, but yeah. Eh, how can a man refuse to make a sale? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, I'm just not really accustomed to folks uh, sending me stuff like that. It's it's flattering. It's uh, it makes a man feel good, and to hear those words of appreciation about my videos, it's all. It, uh, it really lifts my spirits. And I really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers that, that likes my videos. And, oh. and it's, it gets overwhelming at times. Those, those positive vibes, you know, you can't really get too much of that stuff. But for now, this is a very appreciative mountain man. Signing off from the backside of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas, wishing y'all all the best. Y'all take care, be good, and I'll see y'all on the next video.